The Pythagorean theorem says that if you have a right triangle, so if I draw this in, a right triangle with legs A and B and hypotenuse C, then if it's a right triangle, A squared plus B squared must equal C squared. But what about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem? Remember, a converse switches the if and the then parts of a conjecture. So what if we didn't know that this was a right angle? What if I told you that a squared plus b squared equals c squared? So that's what the converse is saying, is that if you have a triangle with sides a, b, and c, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then you can assume something. And that is that we can assume it's a right triangle. Then it is a right triangle. So if a squared plus b squared equals c squared in any triangle, you have a right triangle. That's the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So concrete examples of the converse are the Pythagorean triples. There are four that you should memorize. 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, and 7, 24, 25. So what these triples are, are is an application of the converse, which means 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. 9 plus 16 equals 25. So that's true for all four sets of these triples, is that when you apply the Pythagorean theorem, it works. Now, you don't have to just memorize these, but you have to be realizing that if you multiply all of these by 2, so you get a 6, 8, 10, that all the multiples of these triples also apply. So let's say you multiply these by 3, you would have 9, 12, 15. Or if you multiply them by 4, you would have 12, 16, 20. So by memorizing the, the original triple, you can just multiply and recognize the same triple. So that works for all of these. If you multiplied that triple by 2, you would have 10, 24, 26. So the key thing about memorizing these is if you are given 2 and asked to find the third and you recognize it as a triple, so let's say you're given a triangle with sides 10, and 24, and you're told that's a right triangle, you don't even have to do the Pythagorean theorem. You can just say, well, this is a Pythagorean triple that says 10, 24, 26. So memorizing these will save you a lot of time when you're trying to find missing sides and missing hypotenuse.